Stokes and the 361st Training Squadron, welcome and thank you for coming. Uh, we'd especially like to welcome and greet our friends and family of the graduates here with us today. Before our newest aviation maintainers receive their graduation certificates, I'd like to give you a brief overview of our course. The East Red class has spent the, the last 62 training days learning the constructional features and systems knowledge of the F-110 turbofan engine. Their 494 hours of training included performing maintenance tasks such as removal, inspection, and installation of major assemblies and line replaceable units. This training has prepared them to support three engine models on one of five different airframes in a flight line or backshot capacity. Upon graduation, these airmen will be awarded the three skill levels Air Force Specialty Code 2 Alpha 631 Echo. And each has earned 20 semester hours for their associate's degree from the Community College of the Air Force. More importantly, this class will contribute to the global reach and power of the world's greatest Air Force while supporting and defending the United of the U.S. Constitution at home and abroad. Class 1860 have met all challenges and achieved this standard, proving that they may now proudly be called Aerospace Propulsion Purposes. And now, the moment these airmen have so eagerly worked for, 1816, very readily. Class, stage five. Right, pace. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Staff Sergeant Mohammed Al-Sari. <laughs> Assigned to Dias Air Force Base, Texas, Aaron Basic Amos. Air Force Base, Texas, and our first class of Belay. Sala Air Base, Japan, Emmy Miller. Germany, Aaron Smith. <laughs> Airman Weisbrot, also going to Swagon, Germany. Air Force Base, Alaska, Henry Whaley. Mm -hmm. 
Simon Swagdahlen, Air Base, Germany, Air and First Class Wilhelm. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the newest three level jet streets in Air Force. Family, friends, thank you for coming. Your support, your support always means a lot. All right, class, please see that. Please. How are you feeling? I'm saying. You're done here. You ready? Yes, ma'am. So, a few weeks ago, um, a retired major came to one of our graduations, and I think he put out three good points to remind yourself whenever hey, you're losing motivation and you just need to back things up again. So, as one, you're here to kill the enemy. Two, kill this stuff. Or three, support the things that, that do. I think if you keep those three, three things in mind, you'll be set. You're going to go to whatever base you're going to, and you'll do your job well, you'll stay in shape, and you'll really hone into your craft if you remind yourself of those three things. All right, so again, congratulations. Now at this time, I invite all airmen, past and present, please rise and join us for reciting the Airmen's Creed. I, American Airman, I, a warrior, I have answered my nation's call. I, American Airman, my mission is to fly, fight, and win. I am faithful to a proud heritage, a tradition of honor, and a legacy of valor. I, American Airman, guardian of freedom and justice, my nation's sword and shield, a century and a year, I defend my country with my life. I, American Airman, winning and leader, warrior, I will never leave an airman behind, I will never falter, and I will not fail. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our graduation ceremony, class 1860. Please proceed to the stage.